Is that you? Yeah. What are you doing? Just doing a bit of exercise. You wait till you see my pectorals. <laughs> yeah? Well, I was wondering if you fancied picking me up a little earlier. What do you mean? For the football. William. Yeah? Can you just stop doing that for a minute? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Guess you've had enough exercise for today, huh? How do you mean? I'll try this one more time. Do you want to come over to mine? We've got an hour before the football and the boys are out. Oh, yeah, right, I see. Yeah. You take your time. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> Jeez, me. <laughs> I know. Bloody hell. He's got till Monday to put it right. Speaking of decorating, can I have your mother's phone oh. number? Oh, hello. Doris, go away. Sorry. What did you say? I need Molly's phone number and Rick's. I haven't uh, thanked them for doing my front room yet or paid them. Yeah, can we leave that for a bit? I've had another run-in with her, and I'm not going to speak to her again till she gets a place of her own. Don't worry, it'll blow over. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Doris, I'm busy, bye. <laughs> so what do you reckon? Is that a petrol or a breast? Mm hmm getting there. Mm. There's a stomach coming along. Don't hold it in. I'm not. Not so much a six pack, more a party seven. <laughs> oh. Very pale, aren't you? I'm fair skinned. No, you're pale. Could do with some sun. Well, it's lucky I live in London then, you know. <laughs> Why don't you have a couple of sunbeds? Somehow the idea of a tanned undertaker doesn't seem quite right, does it? You don't need a tan, just a bit of colour. Go on, have a couple. Make you feel better. Anything else? Yeah, actually, there is something I just need to check. Uh, if that's Doris, switch it off. It's Doris. Switch her off. OK. Mm. Yeah, OK, and again. <laughs> OK! You have to walk to work, I'm afraid. Knackered. Knackered with a capital N. Come on, I'll keep you company. No. I'm not going. I don't feel like it. I mean, why bother? Why go to work? What's the point? Well, you don't want to be without a home and a job, do you? You don't understand, Rick. I doubt anyone does. Let's go back up and have a cup of tea. Come on. I know what will get you going. You stay there. Look at you. Lady of pleasure. <laughs> oh, I wish they'd reinstate me. So how did you? How did you become a midwife? Well, I'd kicked their dad out. The boys were both at school. I just had enough. This friend of mine was having a baby and I was lucky enough to be there. And I saw this midwife helping her. And she was so fantastic. And I thought, that's what I'm going to do. And I've loved it ever since the first day of training. Just wish I'd started earlier. Wasted years. Hmm. Come on. We've got a football match to go to. You're not really going to wear that tracksuit, are you? 
That's the one I've got. Why not? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Hello? Oh, no, uh, hang on. No, just hang on. Door, open up! Okay. The hospital, the hospital, the hospital want to see you. Come on, get your clothes on. What are you talking about? No one's called me. I heard Catherine talking to Alison, and they're going to call you in. Oh. oh, come on, that's good news. They're going to reinstate you. Why else would they want to see you? Maybe they want to sack me. Knackered. Does that mean you won't be using it for a while? Oh, I can't, can I? I've got to put a new engine in it. Are you a phoning sick? Yeah. Oh, where would you do that? Where, where would you mend it? Anywhere special? Special? Oh. No, I'll do it here. Oh, so you could do it anywhere? Ooh. Well, I could, yeah. Would you mind if I slept in it? <laughs> well, it's got all my crap in it. Oh, I can clear it out. Well, well, of course I wouldn't mind, but... Good. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. Where are you putting that? <laughs> <laughs> Look here, get this on. I don't know what it looks like, but freezing. Yeah. Go on, son, go on, boy! Go on, get it out there! Let's knock it down the line, come on! Come on! Knock it, get it across to Aaron! Go, Brent, knock it across to Aaron! Come on! Good old Brendan, isn't he? What's the score? Where's my mum? She had to pop into work. She said she's going to try and turn up later. Oh, my God. What are you wearing? Pay up the blues! Come on, you blues! Can you go and sit somewhere else, please? I like my tracksuit. Why don't you go over there and enjoy it by yourself? Have you promised to obey all the rules and never be back yeah, again? Oh, when do you start back? Tomorrow. Oh. oh! Listen, I'm on call on Monday night. You couldn't have the boys for me, could you? No, I can't. Not Monday. Oh, OK. Why don't you ask William? Yeah, ask him. Doris, have you got a minute? Yeah. Go and ask him. Mary? Hiya. Oh, yeah. Mary, can you tell us what to do? Where was the matter? Well, if we haven't started by Monday, then they're not going to let us have it at home. What are you, 40 weeks? 40 plus 10. Oh, stupid rules. <laughs> I mean, look at that. What more do you want from a placenta? Have you got any tips? We really want to have this one at home. OK, do you like curry? No, not much. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Go home and have the hottest vindaloo you can manage and loads of sex. <laughs> can I say? It helps. <laughs> See you later. See you. Bye, Harry. Everything is small, how does Roberto Carlos even know a babe like that? You know her too. She lives a cut of streets away. Well, she's my sort of. Oh, we stay with her sometimes, isn't it? on tap. You jammy bastard. <laughs> Bring her too. She can sit on my lap. Look, I don't even think I can come. Brendan, you're coming. Yeah, but I start my mocks on Monday. Mocks? Mocks are nothing. Hi, are you reinstated? Reinstated. Ah, oh, well done. <laughs> mm, where shall we go? Brendan. To right cross, um, son. Oh, cheers, Mr. Patterson. Yeah. So, what am I going to say to you then? Don't know, Dad. I'm going to a mate's house and on to a party. Oh, behave yourself. Have a good time, mate. Come on, Brendan. Get your totty and let's get going. Who are you calling totty? Oi. Right. That's a little sister. Man, 
Brendan? We're waiting. Brendan, come on, let's go. Hang on, Mum. Mum, I'm going with them. What? Where to? Well, they've invited me and Kate to a party. What? Oh, no, no, don't even ask about it. No way. Brendan, we've got exams on Monday. Yeah, I know. And plus, I've done my revision. Oh, come on, Mum, how often is it that I get to go to a party? OK, your choice. It's up to you, go if you want. Oh, Mum, don't be like that. Well, you know, you said you'd help Terence with his homework, which isn't going to happen if you go to this party, is it? You coming or what, Brendan? You'd be letting him down, not me. Brendan! <laughs> Bollocks! Brendan. I ain't coming, am I? Never mind, Brendan. Bedtime, Brendan! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is nice. I'm so glad I had children, aren't you, Mary? I certainly am. Such good company, don't you find? Dad. Yes, shut up, Dad. Where are you going? Yeah, good idea. Staying here, man. <laughs> I really wanted to go to that party. Should we drink to your reinstatement? Yeah. Who were they? Cheers. Cheers. Cool. Yeah, but it comes with a problem. I'm back on call on Monday night, and um, I was wondering. Yeah, great. No problem. It's great. What? You want to bring the boys over and stay over with us? Yeah, if that's okay. That's better than okay. It's fantastic. Can I tell Kate? Because she keeps pestering me about you lot coming to stay. Kate? What? Come over here. I want to tell you something. Come on, boys. Time to get up. Monday morning, school. We're going to Williams tonight, so don't forget your stuff. Good morning. Good morning, gorgeous. Parents. Right. Because your first game, we're going to start you off with just two minutes, OK? Here's your token. And there's your goggles. Right, thanks. Sorry, what do I do? I've never used a sunbed before. Well, this is actually a high-speed stand-up solarium. Much better than some beds. And the instructions are on the wall. It's dead simple. But don't forget to put your goggles on. The ultraviolet's bad for your eyes. Right, thanks. Uh, sorry. Hi, John, you all right? Not too bad, thanks. I've got a call. Yeah. Lovely. Good morning, Jane. Could you call me back in about five minutes, please? Thanks very much. Bye. Do you want to go first? No, that's all right. I'm going in for 20 minutes, mate. You go. Oh, thanks. Oh, you want to put a sock on your meat and two veg? You don't want to burn them. OK. Oh, and don't forget your goggles. Thanks. Anyone? Hey, Terry. Right, Rick. Oh. 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 
All right, Rick. Hey, Hi, how Grant. are you? Good to see you. Jane, can I call you right back? Thanks. Whew. Makes you a bit dizzy, doesn't it? Don't know. Yeah, I suppose it does the first time. Yeah. Hi, Jane, it's me. Glen Garth Road, that's just around the corner from me. What are their names? Oh, no, I don't recognize them. Where do they want to meet me? OK, I'll come back and get the details. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> yeah, sorry about the... Uh... I don't think I've ever seen you out of a suit before. Uh, a brother and sister, 17 and 16. Vernon and Ida Manning. And the girl's boyfriend, Aaron Patterson, also 17. Car accident Saturday night. It's the morning paper here. Oh, dear God. Yeah. You did know them? Well, you know, I... Oh, I saw them play football with Mary's kids. Both sets of parents will meet you at the Mannings, number 17. They think they want a joint funeral for Wednesday. It's very soon. I've said it might not be possible. Right. Um, listen, I'm going to go home and get changed. I'll do that for you. Thank you. William, can we afford this? It could be quite expensive, won't it? Yeah, yeah. But, uh... You know. You all drop there and there, love top. Don't call me love, please. It's all right. Oh, Dad, great. Give us a hand. Some of the bits are missing. Where's my stuff going? The front room. Dad, we want these out by the time the boys get here. Kate. Those kids you wanted to go to the party with. The kids from Glengarth Road. They died in a car accident on Saturday night. They'll have to go and see their parents. It wouldn't take you five minutes. Mum? Mr. Manning? Yes, my friend. Hello. William Shawcross. You're the undertaker? Yes, I am, sir, and I'm so sorry for your loss, for Ida and for Vernon. So very sorry, I truly am. Benjamin. Call me Benjamin, and thank you. Will you walk with me while I put these with the others? William. All these years, we say hello. I've never known each other's names. Just waiting for an introduction. Well, I'm glad it's you. I don't like cut flowers. This is Aaron's house, my daughter's boyfriend. That's his room there. His parents are at our place. Steve and Ella, taking it very hard, like my Elizabeth, especially Steve. And how about you? How are you? Well, I must be hurting, I guess, because, well, I've always thought that children dying before the parents is the worst it can get. But right now, 
I just feel small. Infinitesimally small. Because I can't be there for Vernon and Ida anymore. They've gone through that valley without me. They've outgrown me. They've gone where we all fear to go. They know now what none of us know. And that's humbling for a father. The headmaster from the school's here, and he can't move for vicars. But thank God Elizabeth has her faith. Thank you. The coroner has issued a statement this afternoon. You don't have to do this, you know. I like doing it. Don't know why. But when I'm painting, I can never think of nothing else. Just, you know, miss that bit in there. Oh, my hair's gone off the brush. The South London community was shocked at the deaths. Don't mind, do you? No. I'm really sorry about your friend. Well, that's the trouble, Mum. He wasn't my friend. I didn't like him at all. That joint funeral was Steve's idea. Do you want to say why, Steve? Well, they were all very close. And we were also thinking a joint funeral might mean more to all the friends. Maybe make them feel how fragile things are. Not that they shouldn't do things, but... I appreciate how difficult it is for you. The, the day after tomorrow is very soon, that's all. I'm not saying it can't be done. Yes, but uh, we break up at the end of the week, you see, and uh, Vernon, Ida, and Aram, they were very popular members of our school. And, uh, What I want is for all their friends, and there'll be many of them, perhaps even the whole school. Anybody who wants to be there can be there. Um, and that there be people for them. Staff, teachers, counsellors even. So that we don't send them off into half term without some sort of support. Well, uh, this is very difficult. Uh, I'm sorry, but before we can say yes to Wednesday, we need the coroner to release the bodies of Aaron Ida and Vernon. Now, hopefully that'll be today, but it depends on the post-mortems, on whether anyone else was involved, and whether there's anything that needs investigating. <coughs> you were in a football match, weren't you? Yes, that's right. My, my Aaron scored, you know. I remember. You sizing him up, were you? Huh? Do you know why I bought my son a car? No, I don't. I didn't want him to have a motorbike. And you know why I didn't want him to have a motorbike? No. Because kids get... <laughs> killed on bikes. <laughs> I'm holding you up. You're not holding anyone up, Ella. It's taking too long. It's all taking too long. We're all crying with you, Ella. <laughs> OK, thanks very much, Jane. Uh, the mortuary will release the bodies late this afternoon. <laughs> so, uh, the funeral is the day after tomorrow, yes? I'll come by tomorrow and see you both. That's right. And the brochures out now, are you? You make a tidy profit out of people like us, don't you? Steve! Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Patterson. I should have said at the outset, and I apologize for not doing so. But my company always has and always will have a policy of not charging for the funerals of children and young people. You can have what you like, Mr. Patterson. There'll be no charge. Thank you, my friend. I just want to pay some. Patterson came by, brought these clothes. 
What's the viewing tomorrow for Aaron? Hmm. OK, engine on. Hey, fantastic. Right, budge over. Budge over? Why? Molly, you know what? This is not what I expected from you. I always had you down as a woman of independence. No, I have. A woman of spirit. That's what I've always admired about you. Is it? Yeah. And I'd have thought you'd have batted this off going, no worries, I'll find somewhere else. I don't need her. Well, I don't need her. Well, exactly. And let's face it, she's staying at Williams all the time. Yeah. You're right. Come on, pop in. Yeah? Yep. This is what's called taking the fight to the enemy. Williams, drive. And he even had that stupid hair. I mean, it looks all right on Freddie Lundberg, yeah, but if you're Aaron Patterson, did you know him much? Only is the one who used to drive past shouting nice tits. He even did it to Julia and she hasn't got any yet. Could have done with your help earlier. Yeah? Well, that's the trouble with state education. We have to go to school. I don't know. You lot break up a week earlier, and then you go back a week later. Thanks. Hey, William. Where are you? I'm here, at your house. Well, you said you'd look after the boys tonight. I'm already on call. Oh, God, William, this is my first night back. But what do you want me to do? This father wants to see his son in the morning. I don't even know if we can finish it by then. I don't even know if we can do it. OK, OK, it, it, it's fine. I'm sorry, don't worry. Um, I'll get Doris to swap or something. There's always some cover. Mrs Ball? I, I don't think so. No, I, I'm sure she's very nice. I just, you know... Look, I've got to go. I've got to call Doris. I, I'll see you later. You mean you're not coming home at all? All right, then, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you too. Bye. Man or mouse? I thought you might be hungry. Oh, you're one lovely man. Oh. <laughs> you all right? Mm -hmm. Rick, you know what you said to me about being a woman of spirit? Oh, yeah. That kept me going all day. That's it. That's good. Say it again. You and me, we could have got in that car. Yeah, but we didn't. Maybe, maybe it's because I've never known anyone who's died before. Your mum died in an accident, didn't she? Yeah, she got knocked down. It happens to people every day. That's why I think you should do what you want, when you want. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone. That's what I'm gonna do when I'm old enough anyway. You upstairs now. Come on, bed. I can't sleep. I told you. We're talking, that's all. I told you two to go to bed an hour ago. Come on, you've got school in the morning. Go. When I say something, Kate, I mean it. Let's get that straight, all right? Bit more. Keep, keep going. Too far. There. No, up a bit more. Yes, there. Mm. What about that bit? We can bring his hair forward over that. Yeah. Cup of tea, Jen? Yep.
Oh, hands are cold. Where have they been? What have you been doing with them? Oh, shush yourself. It's cold outside, that's all. Well, warm them up then. Mm. That's what I wanted to say to him. You're such a jerk. Brendan. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're just talking again. Sorry. And I hope you don't mind my dad being here as well. Uh, Kate? No, it's OK. It's, it's my fault. Mum, shouldn't you be at work? It's half past eight. What? what? Why didn't you wake me? We did. We've woken you four times. Uh, are you in tonight? Can I be on call? Yeah, of course. Oh, OK. Mary, I also mean what I say. And you're not my mother, OK? Excuse me, please, Mary. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I only played in that team once. He only spoke to me once. But I just can't stop thinking about him. I just feel bad about him. You made an impression. Yeah, but as a tosser. No, oh, I don't mind tossers. Actually, I quite like them. Everyone's a tosser to someone, aren't they? You're not a tosser. Remind me to tell you about my sunbed. <laughs> this isn't going to work, Mother. Wherever you are, I'll be there. Jane, can you send these orders of service back? I asked for dark blue, not black print. Dark blue. And don't take no for an answer. I'll do it straight after the viewing. And Mr. Manning's here to see you. Thanks. Benjamin. We've just registered the deaths. You need these, I think. Thank you. Yes, come in. Um, worried about Steve seeing Aaron. He's just down the road, ordering more flowers. Well? I had to identify the bodies on Sunday, you see, and I saw Aaron. And I don't think Steve should see what I saw. He's taking this hard enough as it is. No, I understand. I had the same thought when we got the request. But if Mr. Patterson wants to change his mind... He doesn't. That's the trouble. Right. Well, uh, it's going to be really hard on him. But... I can assure you that Aaron now looks very peaceful. There are no signs of what you had to see. Sorry. Please. Why don't you come in and sit down? Thank you. No. Steve wants me to go in with him. call me. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Just don't ask anyone, just ring me, okay? I've got some shawls and blankets and stuff and we'll just whip out the bed and, well, you know, won't be home, but I feel sometime tomorrow, I expect. Okay? Mm. So give me a call. Take care. Cheers. Bye. See you later. See ya. Mr. Shawcross! Steve's saying he doesn't want to do the funerals together. He, he wants photographs of Vernon and Ida help. and Ben won't let him have them. No, I'm not going to kiss him. I'm just boring. I'm asking, asking please. Steve, I just I want to want them out here. Out. They're the only ones we have. <laughs> Steve, I don't want them here. I don't like these shrines. Look, Steve, I know your sadness. I know it doubly. But you have to let other people feel something as well. I've lost my only child. You've still got one. Steve. Steve. Mr. Patterson. Oh. Sweet lad, Steve. He just laid out the undertaker. Uh, uh, I'm OK. I'm OK. Is everyone else OK? You OK? That's fine. That's fine. Why didn't you come straight back? 
Are peas better than sweet corn? <laughs> William, why didn't you come straight back? I had lots to do. This is a big funeral. Boy, you're going to have to wear shades of a shiner like that. Dad, mm. what's this? Mm. That's Aaron's music for tomorrow. Don't let me forget it. Travis? You used to like Hello. Travis. You did, didn't she? Oh, OK. Oh, I see. You're embarrassed because the boys are here. It's not modern yeah, enough, thanks. is it? No. Bye. Mm. I'm cold. Oh, I'm going to bed then. Are you all right? You tired? Yeah, I'm dog tired, but only because I got no sleep last night. I'm fine. Mm. Really, I'm fine. Okay. See ya. William? How's it going? I had a schedule. William. The lads came to me. No one's taken pay for this one. Oh, no. No, no way, no. Well, yeah, they no, I'm, I'm not having that. I bear the cost of this. No one else. Everyone gets paid. You hear me? Why do you do this? I mean, I know there are some firms that only charge cost for children, but I don't know any that charge nothing. I do it for Kate and Julia. Pure superstition. That's why I have to pay for everything. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Manning. If you'd like to follow me. Why does it always rain? 
Every penny, William. Yeah, but for the grace of God. If you can do this to these lovely people, then don't say it. Just in case. So how was the funeral, oh, if you know what I mean? It was good. Um, as good as a funeral can be. Yeah, I had one of the best births I've ever had. Lucky, aren't we? Lucky, lucky people. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's get the kids, get a couple of videos and take to our room. Leave your car at the hospital, I'll take you around there in the morning. Um, no, no thanks. Sorry, I, I... I don't want to. Do you mind? Um, well, yeah, I do a bit. Why? Oh, I don't know, it's... It's just when you say home, you mean your home. And it's like my place doesn't even come into it. I, I, I don't know, it's just, um... It's just a feeling I've been getting. What feeling? I don't know. Well, it's like when um, Doris said the other night, ask William to have the boys. I, I, I had a reaction. I didn't want to ask you, and, and, and then I did, and, and you were really pleased, and then we went back to your place and you bought new beds. Ooh. Well, anyone else would have borrowed a put-me-up or a lilo or something, but you actually went out and bought beds. At, and then there's all the decorating and... What, the front room? Yeah, it's like you're... What? Like I'm what? It's like you're... Well, I don't know. I mean, what are you doing? Why did you buy those beds? Well, I... Um, I guess I thought that it was a, a regular thing. I mean... Well, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I thought that we were an item. No, we're not not an item, William. Well, so we are an item? Yeah. Listen, I... I care about you. I really do care about you. But I... I just don't want you to make the mistake of thinking we're about to move in together. Well, I... I, I maybe what you're offering me is what I want. I... I just... I just don't know yet. So when I say I love you, that's a mistake as well, isn't it? No. Look, that's... that's very nice. I, it, it's lovely, in fact. I just... think that sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. OK. Look, I just want to go back to my place and, and be surrounded by my things and, and have a bath in my bath and... just spend an evening with the boys. Right. Please don't mind. Okay. And you have a nice night too. Don't go home and mope. Do something with the girls. Yeah. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay? <laughs>